Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset and restore your HP desktop computer to factory settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in reset into the start menu. Best match should come back with reset this PC right above system settings. You want to just left click on that option one time to open it up. And now in the new settings window that appears underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on the button that says get started. So underneath reset this PC we have two options, either keep your files or remove everything. Please keep in mind, even though you saw I keep your files, it's still or move apps and settings, but it says we'll keep some of your personal files. I would still highly suggest backing up any important documents or files to an external media source. And the second option, remove everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. To stay true to a complete factory reset, we're going to be selecting the second option here to remove everything. And we are going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to get through before we actually begin the reset process. Okay, so it's going to also ask if you want to clean the drives too. If you select just to remove your files, it will be quicker. And if you're going to be holding on to your computer, I would suggest the first option. If you're going to be donating or giving your computer to some other party, I would suggest selecting the remove files and clean the drive. However, the quicker and, and more relevant one for most people just would be to select just to remove my files, which is what I'm going to select. So ready to reset this PC, resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs and any changes made to settings, this will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button right here to commence this process, will take some time, please be patient, let it run. And once there is a further need for some narration, I will jump back into the video.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So it looks like our HP desktop computer has been restored to a factory settings or a factory state on our device. So feel free to put any programs and applications back on your computer at this time. Create some backups also as well, once you have it set up how you like it. Just general good rule of thumb, and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out.
And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.